Hey guys, I have no eyebrows. <laughs> Let me put them on. Found them. <laughs> look at that. Wow. Totally makes my face because I look like a ghost earlier. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining me on my first Get Ready With Me on Valentine's Day of all days. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Um, I don't have a Valentine. My husband had to leave out of town. And uh, yeah. Miss you, honey. Happy Valentine's Day. Suegrita, I love you. Feel better soon, okay? Um, yeah, so today's video is sponsored by Hush. Hush is a web and mobile beauty retailer. They carry a wide variety of makeup, skincare, and beauty accessories, and they are super affordable. You can also get a 10% discount with the promo code in my description box. They sent me, look at that. A whole bunch of makeup what am I gonna do with all of this something right I'm gonna slap it on my face <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be trying some of these whoops I hope that didn't break <gasps> it broke oh, I suck and this is the one I'm gonna use I should have known better I could be very clumsy anyway and a disclaimer here this is not a tutorial guys you guys are getting ready with me and that's it because I am NOT a makeup guru at all I actually think I have a confused <laughs> uh, makeup routine because I listen to so many people and it's just like but it turns out so hey <laughs> uh, so yeah so what am I doing next if I make funny faces, don't make fun of me. Okay, so I'm going to highlight my face now. If I'm <laughs> this is exactly how I paint my crafts. Oh, crooked. I just don't have a good pulse. Like, I'm shaky. I drink way too much coffee, man. I do. You know? So I um, watch quite a few um, beauty gurus. So I kind of pick a little bit of each person. And you know, some days they look good and some days they don't. Um, I already highlighted, you know, I already did my concealer so I'm not putting any on here. But um, I don't really watch DIY channels on YouTube. I used to when I first started my channel. But I felt like, you know, it was influencing what I will make next because I will try to avoid you know, making things similar or using the same things. It was just too much. So I just unsubscribed to anyone who I was following. And all I follow now is like motivational speakers and I follow Casey Neistat, <laughs> who I'm obsessed with. I know I'm late to the game, but yeah, um, I'm obsessed with him. He makes me want to blog. He makes me want to be a filmmaker, you know? That was going to be my first major when I went to school. It was going to be screenwriting because uh, I love film. Uh, but I decided to go for TV uh, writing and producing instead. I think I was very, very intimidated um, about doing film, you know. Um, and um, yeah, which is weird now because, well, I guess I just didn't have the confidence that I have now because right now I think I'm pretty fearless. Like I kind of condition myself to be fearless so um yeah but he makes me want to blog therefore i'm doing this get ready with me <laughs> uh because you know i think this is a way to really know me you know my subscribers you guys like i want you guys to really know me because um you guys are my only friends right now <laughs> Truthfully, it is very lonely making videos because you're either making the video, editing, and then the free time that you do have, you spend it with your family. And that's what, at least that's what I do, you know. And I really don't have much time for friends right now. So you guys are my only friends. So I 
actually quite a few of you guys are really my friends I do go back and forth and even an email with some of you guys and I do appreciate you guys that's why I love reading your comments and all of that anyway I'm going to do the dark part of it the how do you call this this is highlighting too right contouring contouring see I don't know what I'm doing uh, all right so this is what this is the part where I I'm confused about and I don't think I ever get it right um, because I have this bone right here I don't know if you can see it it really sticks out it's a weird thing I never really noticed it until I started making videos but I have this bone right here and then I have some um, gurus that say you should make that darker and then I see others that will make this lighter instead. But at the same time, they don't have this. Okay, most days I don't darken this part in, but today I will. Let's see how that works. See if I can like hide it or something. Oh, I think I went too far. Okay. Yeah, that's not right. All right. Thank goodness I'm not going out with my husband. <laughs> I mean, I should look good for my daughter too, but... All right. I'm still going to look cute. Okay. Does that make a difference? I don't know. Can you see the bone? Is the bone gone? I don't know. Alrighty. And then I usually do my cheekbones. I thank God for my cheekbones. I really like my cheekbones. That is one of the features on my face I do do really love. Okay, I look like something. I don't know what I look like right now. Um, I'm going to apply some setting powder. Okay. And I put this on here. I don't know if I do things the right way. I'll just do it. And like I said, things turn out how they turn out. And they usually work out. I do have to get my... Um, contouring right I really do I really wish I need like somebody to sit with me and do it you know yeah so I do this because I like kind of like to blend it together I don't know if I'm doing it right if you're a makeup guru tell me what I'm doing wrong okay tell me what I'm doing wrong I love constructive criticism I don't run for criticism it makes me better so when somebody criticizes me I definitely take it in so now I'm going to blend this I don't even know if I'm using the right brush but this is what works for me I don't know if there is a you know such a thing as using the right brush for me I use whatever feels good the other day I went to Dollar Tree right after I did my makeup because I forgot something and well you know I went in it was like an in and out thing and when I went to the register <laughs> the uh, uh, cashier was like beat I'm like what uh, she's like yeah you're beat girl I was like oh okay you know to me that means you got way too much makeup on <laughs> uh, I don't know what you think what do you think does beat means that you have way too much makeup on I don't know that's what I think I get self-conscious when I wear a lot of makeup I don't know why you know So, but I want to be fabulous at the same time, but you know, I want to be a natural fabulous. I think I did mess that up right there. That looks crazy. That looks crazy a little bit. Is there a difference? That's 
still see it. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know what to do. You know? I think I'm growing a mustache. I am. I am. Well. All right, can't worry about that right now. Yeah. How that looks. All right, so I decided on Aphrodite for eyeshadow and Rose for highlighting. So I'm not used to highlighting, so I'm excited to try it and see if I love it. We'll see if I don't. <laughs> All right, so yeah. So Aphrodite, what I like about Aphrodite is that it has love. It has love, it has flirt and lust. If my husband was here, I would do love and lust. <laughs> but since he's not here, I'm going to do love and blushing. Okay? Oh, they have love and flirt. I love it. They have sparks, tease, admire, flirt, lust, romance, adore, crush, passion, blushing, seduction, jealousy. I won't be wearing that. And infatuation, beauty, euphoria, love, coy, heartbreaking. I love the names. Cute. Very cute. Let's do what the other ladies do. They show you the color. That's what I'm using. <laughs> and I'm going to apply that. So I'm just going to apply it. How about that? I got my own routine with the same boring eyeshadows. They're boring, I like them. But I always wanted to be fabulous and step out of my comfort zone. I just don't know how. I don't. I really don't, you know? I need, this is the wrong pencil. I meant to do this one. Well, the wrong brush, I'm calling it a pencil. I'm so clueless. Um, yeah, so, every year my resolution, am I putting too much? Every year my resolution is to be fabulous, you know, hair and makeup and all of that stuff. Never happens. I'm pretty basic. I'm not, although I want to be fabulous, I guess I don't want to put, I don't know if it's time and effort. I don't mind it. I just don't know how. Um, I couldn't wear makeup growing up, not even in high school. My mom just like, when we came here from, from Panama to the States, she thought that, you know, wearing makeup equals being fast. <laughs> so even in high school, I couldn't wear it. Everyone was wearing it and I couldn't. So I never kind of developed that, you know, sense of makeup and, you know, and, um, yeah, I, I was late in the game for that. So, um, and I'm going to apply love and, um, yeah, so that's why I think. I blame it on my mom all the time, you know? I think those years where you're supposed to, I don't know why I'm doing that. Those years when you're supposed to like explore and experiment, you know? I think I'm supposed to do my crease first. I think that's what I see them do. I'm just gonna put it all over, how about that? Ooh, I like that. Um, yeah, so those years when I'm supposed to like learn how to do makeup and stuff like that, You know, they were like taken away from me because my mom, she just wouldn't, you know? And I tried, I tried to sneak and everything and I got a butt whooping. So, by my sister. My mom never really whooped me, you know? She threw shoes at me. <laughs> um, but um, it was a flying shoe around the house. What am I doing? I like it, but I don't know. Okay, yeah, so hmm. interesting. So this is the thing, you know, like I want to be bold with my makeup and, and stuff like this scared me, you know, it really does. I'm very like simple, you know. Oh, I like it, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh my God, I hope I don't look like a clown at the end of this. Okay. Somebody's cringing right now. I know, I don't care. 
I'm not into other people's opinions sometimes. I mean, only constructive criticism. But, you know, I kind of like me. I like me because I'm a good person. So, can nobody beat who I am in the inside? That's what I don't really care about much. You know? Hmm. All right. So that's that. Yeah, this is more of my color. Okay, so I'm going to try the Athena. And um, I'm going to try the Fierce. This is more of my color. These are the colors I use, you know, more bronzy colors. My makeup face. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to move on to my eyeliner. I know I'm not supposed to be pulling on my eyes, but that's just how I do it. I'm going to do my um, mascara. I am not going to put any false eyelashes because it takes me 20 minutes. I used to wear it when I started my channel, but I stopped because it took way too much time. And I've been trying new foundations because if you can see, I have a dark spot right here. I'm a picker. I pick on my face. <laughs> so I have this dark spot right here. I've been trying to fade it for, for weeks now. Well, I'm not very consistent, but I've been doing home remedies. I've been using potatoes and um, uh, apple cider vinegar, but I'm not consistent. I think I'm just going to go to the dermatologist so he can prescribe something for that spot. Because the foundation, it does a good job at the beginning, but yeah, I need new foundation for sure. I'm going to use this one. Hmm. I blow on everything. <laughs> I noticed that. I don't remember doing that upstairs when I'm in my dressing room. Huh. That's weird. blush in my eyes <laughs> look like the same I look crazy oh my god okay I'm not gonna leave it like that I usually take some off anyway yeah there you go that's more like it I have stuff all over my face oh my gosh I suck at this nice Okay, so I'm going to highlight now with the rosé. Let's see. I'm afraid to do this. Okay, so that one, you can't really see it on here. I might, ugh, what am I doing? All right, so I think that one was a little bit too light for me. You can barely see it, so um, let's try this one. I tried this one. I'm going to try this one. That one you can't see on my skin tone either. It might just be a skin tone thing. Let's try this all day. I didn't want to try the all day because it's also kind of pinkish, and I just don't want my face to be a big strawberry. Oh. No, this is it. Look at that. This is it. All right. Let's just. You know what I don't like about highlighters? Is that it gives you a shiny look. And I'm always shiny. Because I'm very oily. That's why I don't like it. It's like. I'm naturally highlighted so yeah but a little bit won't hurt anyone right can you see it no I really like the all-day one pretty very pretty 
but highlighters not my thing I am going to highlight my nose I do do that I do highlight my nose I'm going to go back to the champagne because it's kind of close to the highlighter that I have upstairs in my dressing room so I'm going to highlight down my nose and I use a q-tip usually I'm going to line them again with a different pencil. I, I don't know why I just made that sound. Sorry. My lips are so dry. So dry. Soft. What do you think? <laughs> I'm definitely sticking to DIY and not to makeup, but it was fun. It was a fun experience and I enjoy spending this time with you on Valentine's Day and hope you guys have a great one. I'm gonna enjoy it with my daughter and I will see you guys next time. Bye.